Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, out of our studios here in Munich Commodity TV, and I'm very happy I have here with me again Fission Uranium. We just uh, talked to uh, Defrent Hava, but now I have uh, Mr. Arabaska based in here, Ross McElroy, and he's the president and COO and also the chief geologist of the company. Yeah, probably Fission Uranium, the most exciting, the, the most successful discovery in the last whatever 20, 30 years. And we would like to talk a bit about the winter and, of course, the finished summer drill program. Ross, thank you very much for taking the time being here. I said it, my Mr. Arabaska Basin, you are the man or let's say the head of the team uh, who found this exciting Patterson Lake South property and uh, the mineralization. What happened last time we spoke in February and I have been with you in January on the site. Um, right. What happened? The winter drill program was finished. Now the summer drill program is finished. Elaborate a bit on that. Sure. Okay. Well, the winter program was really a big one. Uh, we started our our real discovery on the project back in 2013. Mm -hmm. We at that time we grew uh, the mineralization over a strike length of about 1.8 kilometers, but it can you know, but within about one kilometer trend, there we had five or six individual pods because we were chasing the geophysics trend and mm -hmm. radon gas plumes that were coming up. So very successful, big step outs, mm -hmm. growing the the mineralized trend. Uh, with some excellent holes, some mm -hmm. of the very best in the Athabasca Basin. 2014 winter program was really designed to start working on a resource level, testing in between the zones, uh, growing the zones, and with that we were very successful. We drilled 80 holes of mineralization. We had a very good success ratio. 78 of the 80 holes were mineralized, so uh, we drew together a very strong, big, shallow, high-grade mineralized deposit. Mm -hmm. Now this summer, we was another 60 holes that we drilled on the zone itself, and uh, we've hit mineralization in, in every hole. So so far, uh, you know, you're really an unbeatable track record of, of growing this Absolutely. deposit, which is a testament really to the uh, size and robustness mm -hmm. of the deposit. So now it's uh, growing in width. Um, a lot more than what we had originally uh, seen from the winter drilling. So mm -hmm. we've, in some sections, it's up to 160 meters across. So yeah. by that's Athabasca about. standards, that's very, very wide. Yeah, and still all shallow, of course, and that means you can do maybe later on or who, whoever does it an open pit mine, right? Well, it's, it's all shallow yeah. and it's continuous, and I think those are the things that, that really bode well. And the fact that we've hit our best holes uh, during the the 2014 uh, program so we're very excited about it now what does that mean how do you mine it sure it means you've got the likelihood of a open pitable deposit at that kind of depth mm -hmm. how many results we still can expect the next uh, weeks and months i think you you have already done of course a lot but how many holes are left still you you you, you well, can report sure well we haven't received the assays back mm -hmm. yet on the summer holes those usually lag about two months behind the drilling okay. so when we first drill a hole, we can measure the radiometrics, and we know mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, the conversion of that to uranium. So we know in, in the radioactivity whether we're mineralized or not, we'll have uranium numbers. But the assays themselves, we'll expect them back basically from now until about the end of October, early November. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be then the reporting season. <laughs> That's the reporting season, and from that, of course, Very we'll be good. able to put all those holes into yeah. uh, into the resource estimate, uh, which we expect to do by the uh, by the end of this calendar mm -hmm. year. Can you put a little bit for our viewers in perspective? Uh, the PLS is something like thirty-one thousand hectares large. Uh, I think that the whole property and uh, you are now working so far as I see it always on the map on a little part of it and we talk already about like 40, 50, 60 million pounds what the analysts are saying or right. even 70 or 80 doesn't matter. So to me it seems like this is a, a little part of the map. What is in the rest of the property going on? Have you had a chance to view on other spots? Sure, you're right. 31,000 hectare property is a big piece of ground and it, it's a big piece of real estate and mm -hmm. what is the best location in now in uh, ex uranium exploration. Um, we were very successful early on up near the uh, north central part of the property when we first of all found the boulder field and that led uh, pretty uh, nearby to the to the mineralization and the mm -hmm. drill holes so we tested that on one conductor but this property is endowed with over a hundred different EM conductors every one of those EM conductors becomes its own target um, and th those are very important targets for uranium mineralization in the Athabasca region so we have really uh, 
sort of yet to begin the systematic approach of testing these other conductors. So very successful on the northern conductor. Now we're started stepping out and testing other conductors on the property. So with over 105 uh, separate tests, um, probably about two to 300 kilometers at least of prospective trend that, we, mm -hmm. that we've yet to test. Wow, so there, I would say there looks like a bright future for it. Oh, it's incredible, <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it really is a large property and yeah. it's probably the most well endowed uh, from target area that we've seen. Perfect. That was a wonderful final sentence. Thank you very much, Ross. Good. All the best for you. And uh, yeah, let's hit it again and uh, go on with the good drills. And we look forward to your results. Excellent. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much, yeah. Ross. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Ross McElroy, Mr. Alabaska Basin. You heard it. This was one conductor they found so far. And not they found so far, that's wrong. They are working on, and we talk already about something like 50, 60, 70 million pounds of uranium here. And uh, as Ross just said, they have over 100 conductors found on the whole property. So I think there could be room for some or two or three or maybe five on the, in the same spectrum. So there's lots of potential, lots behind it. Super successful story so far. Have a look at the company. Thanks and bye-bye from Munich.